Hi, welcome to Wiki Techie and Cash and Fred. Today I'm going to talk about the great topic what is a website and how the website works. So, a yeah, website is very, very important for every business. Everyone is looking for their website and it should be interactive. And this is the right time people to enter the IT industry. If anyone is looking for a job, a non IT guy, if you want to look at a job, it's right time to enter in the IT industry because enormous amount of opportunities and many students of our company are recruited by many bigger MNC companies. Okay, it's the right time for, for you people. Please, please try to utilize this opportunity to enter into the IT industry if you're interested because it's a peaceful job and you can get lots of salary. And welcome to Kashian Product. Our company, Kashian, we are providing internships and courses to the students and job seekers. If you're looking for a job, join our company, learn the technology, build your profile, gain some experience. Why is it you can go for a job? We are providing this on internships via online and also in offline. You can contact me at any time via my contact number. If I didn't pick the call, I'll be in the class, don't worry. So you can send a WhatsApp message or else if I didn't like a, like a, if you're not responding, you will be getting, so you can send an email to me with all the details and your mobile number to this particular mail address. I'll surely respond to people or else just come down to my office. My office located only in Chennai, okay, in India. Okay, you can come down to my office, I can discuss with you. Sir, I want to chat with you, sir, to get more details, sir. So, over here, this is my Insta account. So, this is my Insta account. Click this follow button, type all the details, whatever you want, and provide your mobile number, I'll call you, okay. Anyway, like, let's move on. So, like, uh, I, I want to congrats all my cashier in for trained students and play students. So, wishes people. Okay, to the companies and recruiters, if any of the HRs or company will look into this video, I request you please send a job description to us. We'll give the best candidates to you. And apart from it, to my students and subscribers, sir, I'm a non-IT guy, sir. Degree non-completed, sir. I want the technology. Forget it. I will help you. Okay, just come down to my office or just call me. I'll surely talk to you. Let's move on to the technology. How your yeah, website works. So, if you talk about your website, so we got four important people available. The one is a client, the person requesting some. I'm looking at gmail.com. The person is typing something. And via the internet, the request is go to the server, the Gmail server. Automatically, the Gmail server will respond, will understand your request. And automatically, it will give the web page to you. So the page is sent to the client. That's really awesome, man. So this is how your website works. Okay, now you got an idea like how the website works, right? Okay, let's move on to what is an IP address for your website. So IP address, IP address is a very important one, which is nothing but your numbers. In the internet, every devices, every computers will be having a number. So this is the numbers. So every computers and every devices will have some numbers. So why are the so it is connected in the internet world? So obviously, your website is located in a computer and that computer should have an IP address and that is called as IP lookup table or DNS lookup table. So your DNS server is the guy who will have this kind of tables. So if I type wikitiki.com, this is my website, automatically wikitiki.com is sitting in this particular server. So they will have this IP address and it will try to use this IP address to identify the destination. So this is how your website works. So now I'm going to talk about what is a DNS server and what is this DNS lookup table. Let's move on. Okay, DNS server in the sense like I got, as I told you, I got the client and server. Now you are able to see in the internet, you got the DNS server with the table. So I got my wikitiki.com now, my DNS server will find it and find this IP address and why this IP address will go to the server now. And now the server will respond and it will give the web page to you. This is how your website works. Now you got a little bit of more idea on IP address, right? Every website will have an IP address. The website is sitting on a server and it will have an address that is called as IP address. Okay, now you got the idea about a DNS server, right? Now let's talk about what are the client pages or client side coding in a website. Sir, once if I type gmail.com, I'm getting a page, right? What is that, sir? That is a question you may ask me. So now I'm going to show you like what is this client side coding part. So client side coding in the sense like uh, these are the technologies available. The one is HTML. The abbreviation is hyper text markup language. So obviously it will show the structure of the web page. And you got cascade style sheet CSS. It's nothing but it will provide you the color of the page. And finally, you got the JavaScript. It will give the validation of the web pages. And finally, you got the server side coding which will connect to the database. Okay, these are the technologies available to create a website. The server side technology can be PHP, Java, or .NET. And .NET is now 
Rikhtaj is number one in recruitment. If you are looking for job, prefer .NET. The second one is Java, third one is PHP. Okay, over here, all these three technologies are considered as the client side coding. Let's move on how it works, sir. So, as I told you, I typed my wikidiki.com. I typed the website, I got the IP address now. Now, I got the IP address, that's really good. Now, this IP address, based on this IP address, I got the website now. The website will have the client side coding HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So these are the uh, codings which is available in the client side. Now the user is looking into the HTML structure, CSS, color and JavaScript validation. And this is called as client side coding. Okay, let's move on to the next area of a server side coding, sir. How the server side coding? So once if I type my URL, wikidiki.com, I got the website. Now I'm into the login page, sir. I'll give my username and password, sir. It needs to be verified in the database. So as I told you, like the server side coding is a really important to access your yeah, database or to interact with the real system. Okay, let's move on to the server side coding part. Over here, you are able to see I got the client. So which is based out of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I got the login page which is moving now. Now over here, you are able to see the PHP which will have the username and password check with the SQL. If the username and password is correct, your inbox will be coming up. Now you got the inbox now and this PHP is taking this inbox and give it to the server now. Now the server will hold the like uh, the data and it is converted to the page using this HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now it is going back now with uh, like uh, with the uh, like a uh, client side coding. Now you are able to see the data here. So this is how your data works. So this is how your web page works. Okay, now you got an idea like how the website works, right? I okay, hope you understand a lot of things and this is the website you just go there. You got lots and lots of articles and their content over here. So kashivinfo.com slash full stack developer training in Chennai. Just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You are able to see in the bottom. You are able to see. I'll put this link in the description in the first comment. Please check it out. These are the contents available. So click it and you will be redirected with the website and you can see lots of things. Learn it and if you got any doubts, you can post the comments. I'm ready to help you people. Hope you enjoy my video like uh, what is the website and how it works. And these are my social network channels. So you can you can connect to like my social network channels. Here's my Insta account. Click this follow button. You can contact or you can join my Telegram videos. You will be getting regular updates from us. And this is Venkat signing off from Wikitik in Kashmir. Thank you.